World War I. A war that I'm sure all of you know that lasted four years between 1914 and 1918. And well, it was horrific, comrades. Trench warfare, gas attacks, bombings, comrades. It was not good shit. And well, in the end, it would all be boiled down to just a few treaties. And today, we will be discussing the changes these treaties brought, as well as the impact they had on the future, and how it impacted the people of all of these nations. No one to talk with, all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. A misbehaving, saving my love for you, for you, for you. So yes comrades, if you want to hear about World War I and the treaties, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, more videos coming soon, and let's get into the treaties. Ah, the Treaty of Versailles, comrades. Probably the mo one of the most famous treaties in all of world history, comrades. It turned Germany from this to this. <laughs> comrades, it, it, it is kind of embarrassing for Germany. So yes, comrades, as you can see, um, the Treaty of Versailles was mostly comprised of land, army, money, and blame, comrades. Now, these were the major factors of it, obviously, with um, losing a shit ton of land, losing shit ton of army, losing shit ton of money, comrades. And you know that hurt those greedy capitalists, comrades. And yes, um, being blamed for the war, this is the main part of the treaty that I personally find bullshit, comrades. Uh, why? <laughs> comrades, let's be honest here. Serbia and Austria-Hungary, you are both the most bullshit countries. Throw an Albania in there, because fuck Albania. But yeah, it just makes no sense to me. Land. Land-wise, Germany was hit very hard, comrades. Now, let's look at all of the land loss. First of all, Polska is born, comrades. One of the greatest countries that would exist for only 20 years. But yes, comrades, um, Germany lost much land in the east. Alsace-Lorraine is also given to France, which would end the decades-long rivalry over the territory. Denmark would get Schleswig-Holstein, comrades, because... Uh, uh, the, the good guy Denmark. <laughs> African colonies would be given to France and Britain, comrades, which means goodbye Togoland and enter French Togo, comrades, which is, you know, quite a big downgrade for the country. So Lithuania got a little bit of land, comrades, so uh, pretty good shit. Uh, okay, good, good job, Lithuania. Army. Now, army was also heavily affected, comrades, with the Rhineland being completely demilitarized. Now, this was obviously because France is a pussyhole, comrades, and they don't even want the soldiers on their border, comrades. Imagine that. Stanislav, do you see that? Hey, 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 so it smells like pussy. Germany would also have less soldiers, and overall, the military was meant to just be defensive, comrades. That way, Germany could not start any other wars. If you know, you know, comrades. But obviously, this completely fucking failed. Um. <laughs> I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! So yes, comrades, Germany had to pay back 132 billion marks in war reparations, comrades, which is insane, comrades. That's about as much money as I have in my pocket and I have given away to poor African children. So yes, comrades, it's obviously a big amount. Now, this would actually have further consequences, leading to the occupation of the Ruhr, comrades, which obviously was France, you know, being broke, comrades, and they just needed a little bit more money. Stanislav, do you see that? Hey, 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 so it smells like pussy. Now, comrades, Germany also entered a hyperinflation in 1923 because the government was shit, not enough money, which was shit, comrades, and I obviously had to take loans and shit, comrades, it's a bunch of shit. And then there was blame, which was just the dumbest shit on the planet, comrades. I cannot believe that they actually blame Germany for the whole war, comrades. You know, the Entente, they might have been high on some opium and crack. Apart from that, I personally believe that the Treaty of Versailles was completely fair, comrades. Germany, you fucked up, you lost the war, you tried to, you know, make Russia take huge debts, comrades. So I have to say, fuck you, Germany. Um, but yes, if you want to see what my viewers thought of the Treaty of Versailles, comrades, go to my second channel. There will be a video on there, comrades, coming out today, the same day as this one. And yeah, comrades, go check it out. What the fuck? Hello? 
Yeah, yeah, so I came to call you because I saw you uh -huh. making fun of the German Empire. <laughs> Kaiser Wilhelm, shut, this, well, shut the fuck up, why are you calling me? Yeah, yeah, do you not speak English, you fucking slava boo? Yeah, yeah, face away from me, pussy hole. You are nothing compared to the German army. Yes. I was saying a lot of bad shit about Germany, comrades, but uh, it's because you are kind of pussy holes, comrades. Nine. I would advise you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, I am the pussy hole. Well, how about I show you the German army's force and Kurt kick Heiser, you to your uh, shit hole, Poland? All I have Poland. to say is, you know, go to the Netherlands, smoke some weed, comrades, and become a pussy hole. You abdicated. I have more power than you now. Comrade, sorry, that was Kaiser Wilhelm chatting shit, comrades. Honestly, he always calls me all the time, comrades. I went to his house once. So comrades, how about we have a, you know, you can punish me a little, but you know, make it a nice treaty. <coughs> now come as a Trianon treaty, comrades. This is probably the second most famous treaty. It is what made Hungary from a fierce, big empire, comrades. Uh, I'm not impressed, comrades. You know, usually I'm impressed, but I'm not impressed. Now come as this treaty was actually harsh as fuck, comrades. I don't know what Hungary did to deserve this. But comrades, first of all, Hungary loses coastline. Hungary is now landlocked, comrades. Wow. That is already quite a big punishment. <laughs> but yes, comrades, also obviously one of the biggest parts is Transylvania being given to the Romanians, comrades. Obviously, as you know, Romanians, they just continue stealing shit, comrades. You know, they stole Transylvania, they stole my wallet, they stole my phone. Oh, fuck. Someone actually took my phone. No gypsy stealing my phone. So what other lands did Hungary lose, comrades? Well, Slovakia was given independence, comrades, and this independence was obviously sponsored by Babia Gura, comrades. Babia Gura gang! Comrades, Austria and Croatia would also regain parts of land from Hungary, comrades, as well as Austria and Hungary just being disbanded as a whole. Now comrades, other parts of the treaty. Hungary's army was limited to just 35,000 men, comrades, making Hungary officially just fucking weak, comrades. I have no joke for this, because it's not a joke. Now comrades, money. Hungary was forced to pay 94 billion dollars of damages, comrades. Now this is also the same as Austria, but uh, they, I, they, I'm not getting involved. This caused huge economic problems in Hungary, comrades, as losing, you know, your coastline, useful land, and now having to pay a lot of money, not good shit. So yes, comrades, Trianon, personally, I think this treaty was a little too harsh, but at least, you know, Poland gained land, comrades, so that's good shit. To be honest, no one cares about Hungary after this point in history anyway, comrades, so... The Treaty of Saint Germain, comrades. Now, comrades, this treaty was mostly talking about Austria, comrades. Austria, Hungary dissolved, comrades. Just like your parents' marriage, comrades, it is gone. Disappeared. I don't know where it is, comrades. I've been trying to look for it, but uh, I don't know, comrades. There's only so much I can do to help you. Um, but uh, yes, comrades, obviously, apart from that, Austria also had to pay huge reparations. Austria would lose lots of land, comrades. Obviously, losing all of the Sudetenland to Czechia, comrades. Czechoslovakia, I mean, at this point, comrades. So it is quite shit. And comrades, South Tyrol was given to Italy, comrades. Now this would spark many battles, comrades, between the Austrians and the Italians. A uh, little too hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shit joke, I'm sorry. Listen you, South Tyrol is mine! You know, you know, you South Tyrol is mine! You, you took South Tyrol, you little bit. I know, you see, you, com no, you know, comprehend it. Uh, South Tyrol is ours, we took you from the war! Uh, uh, you, you know, you little fucking bullshit, little pizza, little bitch! You I bet you eat pizza with fucking worms in it! No, 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 you do not get it! South Tyrol is ours! <laughs> Mamma mia! That is an average Austrian versus Italian confrontation. There you go. <laughs> now, comrades, Austria also had to pay some big bang, comrades. Austrian economy... <laughs> not existing. <laughs> Joking, comrades, but Austria did become irrelevant for all of comrades' human history, basically, comrades, after this. And also, Austria was banned from uniting with Germany, comrades, so, you know, Hitler basically was like, fuck this shit, comrades. Get the fuck Hello? 
Hello. Oh, hello, Hitler. Uh, don't unite with Austria. The treaty kind of doesn't like that. I, I don't care. I also want to gas the Jews. It was nice talking to you, but uh, fuck off, comrade. I don't know why he was calling, comrades. I don't speak German. We have the Treaty of Nuelli, comrades. Now, the Treaty of Nuelli, it was a weird one, comrades, because it tackled Bulgaria, comrades, and it was also kind of harsh. Bulgarian southern coastline, Greek, comrades. Now, uh, also losing land from Serbia, aka Yugoslavia at this point, comrades. It was it was piling up, comrades. Now, Bulgaria was beaten, basically, by this treaty, comrades. Go, go into the edit. Comrades, how did the treaty harm Bulgaria's military? Well, comrades, Bulgaria's military had to be downgraded to just 20,000 men. Now, comrades, before, Bulgaria had the fucking biggest military, com comrades. The, you do not need this big of a military, comrades. So, you know what? This treaty might have actually done the country some good. Bulgaria also had to pay 100 million to the Allies, comrades, and Bulgaria was also forced to recognize the kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, more so known as Yugoslavia, comrades, which is, you know, the worst crime. Comrades, tell me in the comments, do you think, uh, do you think these treaties were fair or not, comrades? Which ones do you think were fair and which ones not, comrades? I want to hear your opinions. Now, comrades, real quick, before we talk about the last one, I want to mention the Ottoman treaties. Obviously, comrades, there was shit like giving land to you know, there was also there was obviously shit like giving land to Greece, Italy, obviously sykes pico agreement and many shit like that. But a lot of these treaties didn't work out because of the Turkish independence war and Turkey basically being a badass, comrades. Hello, hello, hi. Comrades, Turkey, Turkey did well in the war, comrades, and they managed to become independent. A lot of the treaties weren't ratified, comrades, so we will move on to the final treaty. Comrades, the Treaty of brest litovsk comrades. Now, this treaty was obviously when Russia surrendered to Germany under the provisional government, comrades. So, Russia, they lost so much land, comrades. All of the Russian West, comrades, Ukraine, Belarus. Now, I know this doesn't sound like big losses because those are places of shitholes, but they obviously had loss of the industry, factories, population, comrades, and Russia was fucked, basically. So, yes, comrades, I feel very bad. Now, the reason I'm talking about this treaty is because it was the biggest treaty that wasn't technically put into full effect because Germany many lost the war. So yes, comrades, that was the treaties of World War One. I. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit in a newer style. I know it might not be perfect, and that is because I'm still um, learning. I haven't made a video in this format ever, comrades. I'm still learning, still changing, comrades. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like, comrades. That is also important. I will change. I, 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 obviously, next video you see will be a lot better, comrades. Obviously, I need time to change. Nothing will be perfect first try, comrades. But anyway, go check out the second channel video. It will be on an end card, comrades. Leave a like subscribe and make sure to let communism strike again